What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here at New York Toy Fair 2019 at the Diamond Select Toys booth with the one and only Zach Oat. How are you doing today? How are you doing today, Zach? I'm doing good. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you. I'm so excited. I forgot how to talk, so it's all right. there's some really cool looking stuff out here I'm really excited to see, and I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about uh, the recent acquisition of Diamond Select Toys and Gentle Giant a little bit. Sure, yeah. We purchased select assets of Gentle Giant Toys, and we're going to be distributing all the products that they've developed, most of the products that they've developed. Um, so you can see some of them here, some of the Star Wars stuff that we've got, and uh, and yeah, so we're 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 selling that some Marvel stuff too, uh, some Marvel, some Star Wars, and we're gonna see how it goes, and we're gonna um, see what the future holds. Excellent, I'm very excited. All right, I know there's not a whole ton that you can tell us right now, but we have to wait and see, right? Yeah, wait and see. All right, we've been prodding at him, trying to get, get questions and get, get info. And we have some new Nightmare Before Christmas goodies right over here. Yeah, Pretty absolutely. Good. We've got uh, four series of action figures on display, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, 7 and 8, you can build the guillotine from the town square. And then uh, 8 and 9 have some uh, larger characters and uh, so the uh, jet ski, that he, the tractor, the rocket green thing that he rides around on. Not the sleigh, but the... But the the riding tractor. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, I can't, I can't. It's green. It's a green thing that he rides around but on. So that's the in there. Sled. It's coffin kind of, sled. It's kind of like a sled. It's not the coffin. Oh. Anyway, it comes with cool stuff. Yeah, cool accessories going on cool right stuff. there. Cool stuff. Cool stuff in the Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I'm looking at a whole bunch of awesome looking DC statues that are just mind blowing. That Supergirl looks gorgeous. Yeah, and, I mean, that's one of my girl. favorites. Yeah. yeah, I love the Batgirl and the Supergirl. They're really nice. We've got a couple new ones. The Atom is new. Killing Joke Joker. We've yes. got a we've got a Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad that's very nice, mm -hmm. and we got a new Wonder Woman from Justice League that I love. Uh, the old one was really cool. She was skidding across the ground on her knees mm -hmm. with her sword and everything, but yeah. in this one she's got her uh, her wrist crossed and she's reflecting bullets and it's just it's really cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like that effect. Yeah, yeah, and, then, and you have the Catwoman in there, right? From yes, Dark, uh, the Dark Knight Returns. Yep, right? Dark Knight Returns. We're doing a whole bunch for that. We do have Batman, the Catwoman, uh, Bane, and Joker. Uh, those aren't on display here, but they're still really cool. The Heath Ledger Joker is a really nice piece. I don't awesome. know why it's not here. I think it's probably because it's coming out pretty soon. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you got some interesting designs right over here at the very bottom. Yeah, those are uh, the uh, the Dark Knights from the uh, Dark Knights Metal crossover. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Crazy That's evil cool. versions of Batman. I've still yet to read the the was it is it DC Metal or is it yeah. Batman Metal? Uh, yeah, it's I think it's I think it's Metal. I, I don't know if it, there's Dark Knights Metal and there's. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of different series that all kind of tie together. Okay. Um, but uh, it's in like a couple of different trades. Um, right. It's it's a crazy story. Uh, right. But the, there's one collection that's just the origin stories of all these evil Batman. There's like an evil cyborg Batman. There's an evil Flash Batman. You know, uh, Aquaman, uh, Wonder Woman, uh, Superman, and then uh, the Batman who laughs. Who is like the evil Jokerized Batman, which is pretty cool. There's some pretty cool characters in there. Yeah, no, and I, yeah, I think Scott Snyder's writing most of that, right? Yeah, right. I think so. I think that is Scott Snyder. Uh, we're yeah. making some other stuff based on his stuff. He does a does he do uh, Batman White Knight? Is that his too? I think yeah. so. I'm yeah. not caught up with all my books. I'm like, you know, the parenting timing and all, you know. Yeah, we're making yeah. some Vinnie Mates, uh, Vinnie Mate of Dar Batman Who Laughs and um, oh, nice. and of White Knight and also uh, Batman Damned, where I mm -hmm. uh, took all his clothes off. Ours has clothes on, but uh, but. There was a nude Batman scene, apparently, from what I hear. Did he keep the cowl on? <laughs> no, it was, it was full, full no cowl. Oh, okay, those naked Bruce Wayne. No cowl. You, ch <laughs> you, you, you can charge more for no cowl. Yeah, a little bit extra. You want the cowl on or the cowl <laughs> off? Too bad. Cowl on. <laughs> And then we have some uh, really cool Kingdom Hearts goodies right over here too. And this yep. Hurts Series, too. yeah, Kingdom Hearts three base based on the new game. We got a two pack that's coming out with Sora Maleficent, but then we're gonna do Series two, which has got Hercules in it, and uh, Series three has more Toy Story versions, the Toy Story Goofy and Toy Story Donald. So there's cool stuff there. We're doing some mini mates, uh, some Vinnie mates, all for Kingdom Hearts three. More gallery PVCs. Uh, John Wick is over there. We're doing uh, another yeah. John Wick action figure. Yep. yep. And uh, some new dioramas. A um, lot of, lot of. I'm really excited about the John Wick stuff. Very excited to see the third movie. I like that you guys are adding. Seem to be adding a little bit more effects into the pieces. I'm just generally seeing that kind of pop up a little bit more and more. Yeah. You know, we've um, we're we're, we're trying to do more with that because you know it's cool to do those clear effects. And actually, yeah. our our Captain Marvel select action figure. She yeah. comes with um, like one blast that fits onto her hand, an energy Ooh. blast, and then she comes yeah. with another even bigger blast 
that as far as I understand is going to require a support stand to hold it up kind of like oh. some of those uh, some of those effects you see on like the Godzilla toys stuff like that yeah. but like but like it's like uh, you know have like a little clear support stand that can hold it in place with this gigantic energy blast that she fires out of her hand so it's cool that we're doing effects like that yeah yeah I love seeing it that's stuff yeah makes me giddy seeing all that and you have some sonic goodies right there Getting yeah for the movie and everything yeah well yeah, but these are all based on the game and we're yeah. doing we're doing um sort of a thing where it's uh two little mini figures and like a, a big diorama and um these are a little bigger than they're going to be they're going to be a little smaller than this but um but it's uh it, it'll sell for like 17 dollars, and it's a diorama with two characters in it and you can buy like two different ones in series one and then two different ones in series two and you can connect them all together and make like a really big environment for them to run around on it's just really cool that's awesome oh that's great and then we have a bunch of, we some predator going on right over here yeah we're, we're going to do galleries like the pvcs so we got one predator one on display we got a cthulhu gallery on display which we haven't done before we have a new bruce lee which is really cool him doing a crazy kick i can't do it and uh <laughs> but we got uh the bruce lee action figures on display too um the first one the yellow suit and then the second one with no shirt on so those are going to be superposable. They got like butterfly articulation on the shoulders. Ooh. They're going to be they're going to be the most articulated select figures we've ever made. So, oh, I'm excited for that. Everybody should, everybody should check them out because uh, uh, they're really cool. They're really cool. Even even the prototypes I've been playing around with, you can do a lot of stuff with. And normally with a prototype, you can't really do too much, but they're still they're still pretty poseable. Um, we're also doing Westworld action figures. Yeah, people are into that. That's, I, mean, yeah. I, I I think I may have caught one episode. I watched season fun. one, which is really cool, and I've started to watch season two. Uh, so we got the Anthony Hopkins figure, which is pretty cool, and we got Ed Harris as the man in black. He's got like a cool black cowboy outfit and the gun and the hat, and he's he's really cool. Uh, did you see the Castlevania action figures we're doing? No, based no. On the Netflix series. Um, so it, oh, that looks great. Yeah, yeah it's um, it's like you know, oh, it's originally based on the game, but this new anime series on Netflix, and they're very anime designs for those figures. It's the most anime thing we've ever done. Because it's because it's based on anime, but yeah, but we, yeah. we don't do a lot of anime here at DST. It's just not something we do right. a lot of. But mm -hmm. but I think P fans will get a real real kick out of those. We're doing some Godzilla stuff. We have the PVC dioramas um, that we've never we did banks back in the day, but we're doing yeah. uh, these dioramas, and some of them will fit together to form like uh, more larger scenes and dioramas between the two monsters. And we're doing some Vinnie mates for that too. King Ghidorah looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, Ghidra is Ghidra is is crazy. He's, he's just got he's got a lot going on there. Yeah. The Iron Giant. That's a that's a big action figure. Oh, him. that's yeah. right. Yeah, there's a there's a bust and then there's an action figure. Yeah, the action figure is like 12 inches tall, 11 inches tall, and he's got interchangeable parts. We so can be either good or evil. Excellent. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, we got the Sandman select figure on display. You saw that. that right? Yeah, that looks incredible. A lot of accessories. Yeah, a lot of accessories. He's got the sand power for the to switch with his legs. He's got the big mace and the claw hand and the sand hand and sand yeah. fist. A lot of stuff going on there. Nice. And then just for me, you guys are making a Psylocke. I, I appreciate it. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, you like the Psylocke? Oh, I love the Psylocke. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Some people were Big saying, time. Some people were saying her legs were too long. I'm like, have you read a Jim Lee comic? Yeah, that's uh, that's one thing that really stuck out to me is that yeah, the, got the, the long legs. She's got the long, beautiful legs. We did that for you. We did. Thank that you. For you. Thank you so much. I know. I know. That's why it came out looking so good because you knew I would be checking it out. I will definitely send you one of those as soon as they come in. Awesome. Um, so what great. else we got? We got some new Marvel Mini Mates based on X Factor. Yeah. Um, we got some new Marvel Galleries. We got the. Did you see the Goblin Queen PVC up here? This one up here. Yeah. She's very nice. That's it. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Oh, that Punisher looks great. Right? Yeah, the Punisher, sort of a John Romita style Punisher. We showed yeah. that at New York Comic Con, uh, but it yeah. uh, it hasn't come out yet. We haven't solicited to retailers yet. Oh, so that'll be that'll be in a little while. Nice. Uh, what else we got? And then we got some statues, some Premier Collection statues. We got a Carnage, an Ice Man. And uh, what else? Oh, the Green Goblin is new over there, too. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. And then we got, yeah. Oh, the Mystique, I don't remember seeing that one before. I think we just solicited her. I don't know if I sent, I, I don't know. I think I just sent images out on her just recently. So you, oh, might, you, okay. might, you might have seen her, but I can get you new ones. Yeah. Um, and then we got our Legends in Three Dimensions busts, which are like the half-scale busts, really big ones. We're doing them for a lot of different series. Like, we're doing one for Iron Giant, like you said, one for Castlevania, a um, uh, bunch for, Star for Marvel. We're showing the Black Panther for the first time. And then down below here we got uh, Honey Trap, which is um, uh, one of the lines we're distributing that used to be, that was developed by Gentle Giant, and it's like uh, original characters, uh, sort of like a cross between Sucker Punch and James Bond. And uh, there's a new one here called the Russian that we're showing off, and she's really cool. She's walking around with like a big gun and a bottle of vodka, and she's got a, a hairless cat with her, and it's it's just a really cool piece. And uh, finally, we're we're selling and distributing some Gentle Giant Star Wars stuff. Awesome. Yeah. yeah.
right, great stuff here, man. I'm very excited for everything that's coming out over here, especially selects right here, the Rogue figure. I'm, I mean, we've we've seen the Rogue figure several times before, but I haven't seen it this post. Yeah, oh, you can actually. Yeah, this is, oh, this is production. She nice. does. She does a whole lot of stuff. She's got the. She's got a lot of different articulation points here. Oh, uh, she's got right. a mid mid thigh right there, mid yeah. thigh. She's got the the rocker ankle there. Oh, I love that. She's got the. She's got a pretty good range of motion on the head, considering right. she's got the hair. Beautiful she can move around a little bit. Yeah. All and right. uh, yeah, she's yeah, a she's man. a pretty poseable figure. I think people really like her. She's not as tall as Psylocke, but like I said, Psylocke's got those really long legs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, looks great. I haven't measured her. I think she's. She's not seven. She's certainly close to it. She'll be just a little bit shorter than seven yeah. inch, right? To match hopefully, like she, hopefully she's a little bit scale. below, yeah. Yeah, that looks gorgeous. I don't know how tall she is compared to Gambit. Yeah. So now you got someone to go with your Gambit, Gambit action figure. Yeah. Add it, she comes with the diorama and everything. <laughs> yeah, she comes with the, the Danger Room diorama with the gun mount. And uh, Psylocke comes with the Danger Room diorama with the... Um, the I forget what that's called. The, the thing that you fight oh, and yeah, punch. The, yeah, the punching yeah, bag The martial sticks. arts thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. got a name. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I can't remember either. Yeah. Awesome. Great stuff, Zach. Thanks so much for sharing and everything. I Dude. appreciate it. Very pumped. And stay tuned for more coverage over here at New York Toy Fair 2019. Hey, I'm sure from Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.